keep you keeping us safe. God, we honor you today, God, in the name of Jesus. So we're, we're here today. Uh, uh, we're going to try to encourage those and, and uh, those that were here to just hold on and just keep, uh, keep believing God and keep trusting God and just during this time allow God to be glorified in everything that we do and and everything we say and keep our emotion to a point that you know what I'm talking about people's emotion have a tendency to get out of whack during this time I'm serious you know and, and sometimes people try to be calm but yet and still they're walking with fear and the thing about it is you don't have to tell anybody else just acknowledge to God God this is where I'm at this is where I'm at Sometimes I struggle with certain areas and, and just being honest with God and just yes. thanking God that, you know, that he's still a keeper. Y'all saw him 97 and 1 out of scripture. The yes. Lord reigned. The yes. Lord yes. reigned. And regardless of the decision yes. that I made yes. of what come upon me, I got to realize that God still reigns. Yes. So today I want to do two things. As I got up this morning, we, I was getting some notes together to, to encourage the people and to encourage the nation, Amen. anyone that hear this. Two things I want to do. I want to ask uh, uh, Ella Agnew to come and just pray for the nation. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Pray Amen. for the nation as a whole and just pray how God lead him. And after then, uh, uh, my wife going to come and pray. And I'm going to come back and just give us a few minutes of words or encouragement. Amen. Amen. To take us through this time. So Ella Agnew is coming yes. to yes. pray for the nation, the governing body, that they make the right decisions. Ain't that right? We, we need the right decision made on our, on our behalf. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, God, thank you. Hey, glory to God. Thank you. I think it's going to be all right. Yes, yes, I know it is. You're right. All things work together. Yes, yes, yes. 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 And for those who are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. You know, sometimes you don't know what to say. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Yeah, yeah. For people or for people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could be on the urge of saying Thank something you, wrong. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it ain't right in their sight. And you just can't believe it. Like, that's Amen. It. That's it. I mean, you got to be satisfied with what Jesus. you have, especially if you Jesus. have Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Father God, I thank you right yes. now. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Where would I be? Thank you, Lord Hallelujah. God. God, we pray for this nation. Lord. Yes. Oh, the one that Ooh. you allow to be in place. Hallelujah. Oh God. Hallelujah. You, Strengthen him. Give him the mind. Yeah. Give him the thoughts yeah. that they need yeah. Yeah. for correction and obedience. Yeah. Amen. Yes. yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let your anointing yes, God. fill our mind yes, Lord. Yes. and our hearts. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Keep us, Lord God, Jesus. with your keeping power. Yes. Hallelujah. For no one could pluck us out of your hand. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory Jesus. And we now pray ah, God for those, Lord God, Lord. even the people man Jesus. Jesus. that don't really know what's going on now. Yes, yes. yes. God, we confusion you. already. Mm -hmm. And Jesus. we ask you to straighten it out, Lord God. Yes. yes. In the name of Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Yes, like yes. Hallelujah. 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 Fix it, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. We're depending on you, Jesus. Yes, Thank yes, you, Lord. Yes. We're depending on you. You brought us from a mighty long way. Yes, yes. 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 Lord, yes. through many dangers and snares. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, we, we didn't come this far Lord. to fail. Lord. We came Lord. this far by faith. Yes, Hallelujah. And depending on you. Hallelujah. And God, right now, even as your word goes forth. Yes. Another prayer. We ask you, Lord God, to let it be in our minds and hearts to do the right thing, the godly thing. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. And I believe now we're working in this word. 
in the Bible. We're in that season of it. Thank you, Jesus. And now it's time to be obedient. Yes. And we want to obey you, oh God. Yes, God. In the name of we want to obey you in all things. Yes. We love you. We praise you. Hallelujah. And we bless the people of God. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are thankful yes, yes, one yes, more yes. time. One more time. Just to be back in the house of God. Yes. And I praise the Lord this morning. Yes. And y'all know I'm from the old school, so I this son came to me. Come on, Mother. Look, look ever to Jesus. Yes. For he will see you through. Yes. So I'm here to tell you, look ever to Jesus. Because he will see you through. Yes. This yes. morning, elders already prayed for the nation. And I have some things that God has laid on my heart on, for us to be praying for. Yes. Father, we just thank you right now, Lord, for those that you have blessed this morning just to be here, God. Yes. yes. God, those who want to just come, God, and fortify. Yes. And strengthen one another. Hey, glory. So, Father, even as we stand, God, and we pray this morning, we ask you, God, to take this out, God, and bless our brothers and our sisters. Bless our nation this morning, Lord. Jesus. Lord, bless those who have been hit by the virus. God, bless those who've lost loved ones. And, God, I pray even now for the finances, God, of those who've been hit, God. God, in the name of Jesus, oh, God, because you are God of provision. So, Lord, right now, we ask you to provide like you never have before, God. I know that you are able. I know that you are strong, and I know that you are mighty, yes. and I know that you are working in this, oh, God. Yes. So, right now, God, we pray for our leadership, oh, God. Yes. God, we pray for our churches all over the country, oh, God. Jesus. God, we pray for the saints this morning, God. Yes. God, we pray a yearning, oh, God. I know they miss each other, Father. Yes. God, we're just praying for a yearning, God, to just be built in us, oh, God. Yes. So, God, that when the time comes when we can come back together, God, there'll be a joyous reunion, oh, God. We thank you for it, God. We thank you, God, because, Lord, I know you do all things well, God. You do all things well. Yes. And, God, it is well this morning. Yes. It is well, God. It is yes. well. It is well. And I am hoping in you, God. And God, you said, oh God, this I know, Psalm 56 and 8. Yes. This I know that God is for me. Hey. Lord, you are for us this morning, God. Let us not lose hope in this season, oh God. And God, I pray right now for a speedy healing of this virus, God. Yes. God, call the vaccine, God, to be manifested, God. God, speak to our doctors and our nurses, oh God, and our researchers, oh God. Speak to them, oh God. And God, in your time, God. Bring it to fruition. Father, we thank you and we praise you, God, for all that you've done, God, and all that you're going to do, God. God, standing strong in this nation, oh God. Father, we thank you right now. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and thank God. We're going to turn you to the hands of our pastor, Pastor Milton Harper. Amen. Hallelujah. Everyone say amen. 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 Give glory to God for this opportunity. Amen. The Bible says for this is the day. Yeah. That the Lord has made. Yes. And we will rejoice and do what? Oh, and be God. glad in it. Yes. We thank the Lord that he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. Hey, God, he's the one that keeps us. He's the one that watches over yes. us. Yes. My God. And the Bible says from the rising of the sun yes. until the going down of the same, yes. his name is to be praised. Yes. We honor the Lord today. We're coming to you guys from the sanctuaries of the Upper Room Apostolic Church in North Rock, Arkansas, and we honor the Lord yes. for just allowing us to come Jesus. together. Yes. We are here Jesus. With, Jesus. Uh, uh, with some of the uh, 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 essential uh, <laughs> members or workers. Uh, we're assembling here to bring you this. And we thank the Lord. We thank the Lord for those that press their way out and have chosen to come and worship the Lord with us. And we try to encourage not only uh, URAC, but also the body of Christ. Today, uh, uh, we want to try to uh, uh, encourage the body with uh, uh, some information that God put in my spirit. Today we're going to be talking about how that, you know, you look at what's transpiring and 
you can see the weariness and the stress on the faces and the heart of the people. Uh, some people don't know what to do. Uh, 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 they turn into a different avenues and thing for encouragement. But I really feel that this is a time for God, people, and the word of God to really be lifted up. I'm reminded in the wilderness when, when the children of Israel began to complain and there was a serpent that came out and bit them and they went to Moses for, for help and Moses sought the face of God and God told Moses to build a brazen serpent yes. and lift it up. Yes. And he told him, whoever look upon it yes. shall be saved. Y'all, this is the time yes. to look to the Lord. For the word of the Lord said, I look to the hill who is coming my help. Yes. Knowing all my help coming from the Lord. Yes. My God, it ain't but a handful of us here today, but I feel like preaching. Yes. Because let me tell you something, y'all. The Bible says in, in 1 Corinthians 1 and 21 that it pleased God yes. through the foolishness of preaching. To save them that believe. How many people believe today? I believe that we're not only going to come through this greater, but we're going to come out of this with things that we didn't have before. My God, we're going to come out of this more united, more loving, more, hey God, I know in whom I have believed. First, oh my God, 2 Timothy 1 and 12 said, Paul said, I know. In whom I have believed. Lord, I mean, who do you believe in today? Yes. Who report do you believe? Are you waiting on a stimulus package? Yes. God already got one. The Bible says he shall supply yes. all of my needs according to what? Yes. His riches yes. and glory by who? Christ, Christ Jesus our Lord. Yes. My God, I honor the Lord today. Yes. My God, we are in a season now. Where people are looking for realness, something different. They're looking for hope, something that they can grasp to. If you would, train with me to Psalm 34 and also Isaiah 40. Uh, I'm going to do some reading and we're going to encourage my God. Uh, turn and tell your neighbor, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Think about that. Think about what you just said. I will bless the Lord. So that means you have to get in the place regardless of what's going on, uh -huh. of what's going wrong. Yes. That means you have to will yourself Jesus. to bless the Lord. Y'all, every morning you wake up, you don't feel like blessing the Lord. Yes. When you turn off the news, that's what I do. When I turn off the news every time I hear something, yes. I don't feel like blessing the Lord. But you have to will yourself to bless the Lord. With everything you're hearing, yes, sir. Yes, sir. the numbers going up every day, the cases going up, my God, y'all feel like everything is going down but the word of God. So you have to will yourself yes, to yes. bless the Lord. Let me tell you some guy, it's going to get tougher. But the, hey, but what that old saying? Tough time don't lie, but tough people do. Amen. My God, and God got some tough people. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. God, hallelujah, glory to God. Let me look at the word of God. My God, in Isaiah 40, the verse is 28. Yeah, I believe we're going to start there. I'm going to be reading from uh, the English Standard Version. Uh, that that version seemed to really bring insight to what we want to share today. And as you think about the statement that I made, I will bless the Lord. Yes, yes. <laughs> First of all, when you think about that word will, yes. will, uh, if you're not careful, your will can be directed by your emotions. What you feel will determine your will for the day. Yeah. Our emotion will, oh my God, I don't feel like going through this. I don't feel like this. I don't feel like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. My God, with everything I heard, it would deafen your will. Y'all, that's what it is now. 
People don't have the willpower to continue. Right. You can see it everywhere you go. The, the seem like the willpower to continue on. Seem like people are giving up. Yes. And, and, and y'all, this is not a time to give up. If you give up now, you're going to miss one of the greatest miracles that God is, that God is crafting. Y'all, this generation of the church had not seen the amount of miracles and things that the older generation have saw. But if you just stay back, yeah. We get ready to see some. That scripture in Romans where it said, I hadn't seen, either haven't heard, no enemy to the hearts of men. Y'all, we get ready to see some things. All right, all right. My God, you get ready to see some things. You know, people are predicting that this thing is going to continue in the winter. It's going to come back next year. It's gonna come. But y'all, God is after and Omega. He can put a stop right now. Yeah. The Bible says he can cause things to cease. And I believe in God. So lift up your head, all ye gates. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting. My God, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. My God, hallelujah. So many trust in horses. So many trust in chariots. But we will remember the name of the Lord, our God. For the name of the Lord is the school And they are saved. Amen. My God. I don't need a hundred people to preach. Hallelujah. I didn't need one God on my side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For God before you, who can be against you? My God. Isaiah 40. And the verse is 28. Ah, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. The English standard version says, Have you not known? My God. Tell me, tell your neighbor, by now. By now. By now, we ought to know some things. God did not bring us this for the need. My God. By now. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord? El Shaddai. Elohim. The everlasting God. The creator of the end of the earth. He does not faint, yes. or neither do he grow weary. Lord, yes. how mercy. Yes. Them shouting words there. Yes. 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 Neither do he grow weary. Yes. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint. And to him who has no might, he increases strength. Yes. My God, so if you weaken strength today, lift your hand and say, Lord, strengthen me today. Yes. Strengthen my walk today. Strengthen my family walk today. My God, Lord, I want to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for I know my labor is not in vain. My God. And, and look what it says in verse 29. I mean, verse 30. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. My God, y'all, I, I was looking the other day, I said, oh my God, it finally hitting home with the young people. Amen. Because at first, when it first came out, they weren't believing it. They thought, they thought the government was trying to stop them from going on spring break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And here they did, they hit the beaches. And so now it's hitting home. They're coming down with it. So even the youth, and, and, and they came on the other day dispelling that myth that only the older people were falling prey. But they were saying now that the older people are being sustained because what? They're using wisdom. That's it. That's it. What they're doing, they're using wisdom. They're protecting this body that God gave them. Yeah, yeah they may go out. They go out get provision and they come back home. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we go out, but we're gonna be floating all around America we go out get provisions and we come back in. And you know, even when we go out, y'all, when you go out, get gas, put on rubber gloves. Yes, yes. Protect yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Amen. That don't mean you don't trust God. Amen. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. So use wisdom. Yes. It's that like even the youth are fainting and being weary. Yes. The young men shall fall under exhaustion. Jeez. 
The young men, they're getting exhausted because what? They're worried. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Young men, men of strength, men of stamina are falling under their worry and anxiety. But they, hallelujah, my God. Uh, lift your hands. Oh, that's me there. That's the number my feeling. But they, that wait, oh God, you hear me? That wait just don't mean sitting back not doing the with quiet and faithful anticipation. We anticipate the outcome. Are y'all hearing me? So they that wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. My God. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. My God. So you know what? God has given us a remedy yes. for fainting. Yes. It's in Luke 18 and 1. Yes. It says, men ought to always pray and not to faint. Jesus. If you find yourself fainting, just stay down there and start praying. Amen. <laughs> You're already down. You're already been knocked down. So just roll over and start praying. So thank the Lord for that. You don't know now. Yeah. Hey, God. <laughs> I'm not trying to be comical, y'all, but hey, my God, if you've been there, y'all, having to pray and seek the face of God ain't new to me. It ain't new to y'all upper room. Uh, we, we, y'all. But for those of us who hadn't been there, uh, you know, I'm praying for you because your, man, your mind started playing tricks on you. Your emotions start talking to you. It start telling you, look in your cabinet. See, do you have enough provision to take you? Look at your checkbook. See if you got enough money to work the last to the stimulus check. I hope they passed this bill. You know, y'all, God done already passed it. God know the end from the beginning, y'all. And God gonna work this thing. Just in the nick of time. God gonna do this thing. But I tell you another thing. God gonna get the glory out of this. Yes, yes. Psalm 34 and 1. I'm gonna be reading uh, 34, 1 through 7, also from the English Standard Version. Y'all, I'm almost finished. Mm. I will bless the Lord. How often? Oh. Oh. Even during the time of the, mm. the vows, we're gonna bless the Lord. Yeah. My God. Have y'all have y'all seen some of the I don't know what you call it anonym that they put with COVID nineteen yeah. and all that uh, y'all that's what got some people mixed up, mom messed up. They listening to all of these uh, 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 even prophets coming on now trying to say things and stuff like that. You know I, I'm not dispelling nobody prophecy or whatever, but I want to seek the face of God. Amen. Amen. I want to know what God is telling me Amen. and this church during this time in the name of Jesus. And one of the things that it was so much false information put out that had people in fear from, they came on for 30 minutes giving an a in-depth definition of, of the coronavirus and COVID-19. Mm -hmm. COVID mean uh, uh, corona virus. 2019. That's what it stands for. 2019, when it started in 2019, someone was saying the C for China. You are, oh Lord, how much it. Help us, y'all. <laughs> you know, people get stuff and put legs to anything. But I thank God yeah. that the only leg I'm depending on now is the word of God. I tell you, who report? Yes. Will you believe? Yes. Yes. We believe the report of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Yeah. Not only when things are looking up, but when things are looking down, yeah. we should pray to the Lord. Yeah. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. And the humble shall hear the Lord and what? Be yeah. glad. Yeah. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Yeah. And let us exhort his yeah. name. Yeah. I sought the Lord. Yeah. And he answered me. Yeah. And delivered me from all my fear. Yeah. My God, y'all getting it? He delivered me from my fear. Yeah. He didn't deliver me from the situation, but he delivered me from my fear. Amen. Your fear is what causes anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, deliver us from our fear. And you're going to send the healer. You already got the 
the hill in front of the virus. So deliverance some call. Once the virus is gone and eradicated, y'all, we still have to deal with the fear that will, the result of the fear that will left, y'all. Right. Yes. That's what we're, we're not looking into, y'all. Yes. Fear me, scars. Yes. Yes. And, and I was thinking this morning, long after the epidemic is over with, we got to deal with certain things. Y'all, certain phobia yeah. going to come. People still going to be afraid to shake hands. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it's not some things are being set in place. Mm -hmm. And if we're not careful, it will begin to rule our lives. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen? So thank the Lord that he's he able not only to end the situation, but he's also able to deal with our fears. Yeah. Amen? I want to go down to verse 5. Mm, those who look to him are radiant. Oh, God, think about that. Those of us that look to God radiant, yeah. they have a glow. Even though trouble is going on, mm -hmm. people will be able to look at your face and see the glow. Mm -hmm. My God, why are they not like us? Why are they not downtrodden? My own, who was the son for? Oh, soul, why are they, you talking about? My God, in the midst of what's going on, you can still be up spirit and upbeat. Did you know that? Yes. I, Lord, I don't know about you guys, but I'm upbeat. Mm. I'm upbeat. <laughs> Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. This poor man cried. Mm -hmm. And the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his trouble. Mm -hmm. The angel of the Lord encamped around about those who fear the Lord. And he delivered them. Think about that. Everywhere you go, yeah. in the midst of this epidemic, you have an angel encamped about you. Lord, I, I, you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. We all scared and fear for an angel there. Jesus. My God, hallelujah. hallelujah. The angels are there. Yes, yes. My God, why are they there? They're there to protect you and to lift you up. Yes. Lest you dash your feet against the stone. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, y'all, that's why I say you have to, you have to will yourself to praise God during this time. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Lord gave me one scripture, and I'm going to share this, and then we we out of here, guys. The mother's going to come back and give us a prayer and, and pray for those that, give an invitation for those that really want to know the Lord during this time. The scripture is uh, James 1. And 21. The word of the Lord said, Receive, and I'm paraphrasing, receive the what? A grafted word. Or the seal word with what? Meekness. For it's able to do what? Save, Save your soul. Yeah. What's inside the soul? The will, the mind, and the intellect. So if we get the word, y'all, and get it down in us, that's, that's what God was really charging me to do. He said, put the word out there. We don't have enough church. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? We don't have enough church ethic, but God has charged us to really get the word out of there during this season because it's the word that going to save and deliver you. The Bible says, receive the engrafted word with what meekness yes. was able to save your soul. Yes. It's able to save, it's able to help you in your emotion. Yes. That you won't be on a roller coaster during this time. Y'all, the enemy love people that are on a roller coaster. I don't want to live my life on a roller coaster during this time. Oh. Glory to God. Yes. So, my God, so receive the word. Yes. And give God glory that he's still keeping us. Ain't that right? Amen. My God, give God a hand praise that mother ought to come. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. let the church say glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Thank, Thank God for that powerful Hey, glory. We just invite anyone that is our prayer today. Yes, yes. You may call us at 501 955 We are here yes. and we are ready to pray for you. Amen. And those who don't know the Lord, and you know, you may be seeking and you may just feel like all hope is lost. But I want you to know that Jesus is a friend 
that's sticking close to that brother. Yes, yes. He's right here. Jesus is right here. Yes. And he's waiting for you. Yes. So, Father, we thank you for the word of God yes. that went forth this morning. Yes. We ask you to be pleased, God, that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts, yes. God, let it be acceptable in thy sight, O oh God, yes. Yes. our strength and our redeemer. Yes. Father, I just pray continually for our nation, oh God. Yes. I pray, God. Mm. Oh. God, I pray that you'll bring the church. Mm. Oh, yeah, bring the church, God, where you want it to be. Yes. God, build the church in this hour, God. Build that remnant, God, in this hour. Lord, I know that all the signs, Father, are pointing to your return. And God, we want to be ready, God, when you come. But God, not only do we want to be ready, we want to help others to be ready. So, Lord, I pray this morning that those who are listening to us this morning, I pray that they will receive the love of God this morning. I pray that you would test them like never before. I pray that the word of God will go into the joints and marrows and into the hearts of the people of God today. And, God, I pray, God, that someone will say, what must I do to be saved? Father, we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Until next time, God bless you and God keep you. you are, we are coming live from the Upper Room Apostolic Church located in North Little Rock, Arkansas. God bless you and thank you. Amen. Amen.